If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. To solve this question, we're going to begin by drawing a picture. So here we have shown the two plane mirrors by the black lines, and they're separated by three meters. And then we have the woman's hand, which we just represented as a simple rectangle, situated one meter from the nearest mirror. Now, when an object is placed in front of a flat plane mirror, its image will be located a distance behind the mirror that is equal to the distance from the mirror to the object. In other words, the first image of her left hand will be located one meter behind this nearest mirror. And so the correct answer to part A is indeed one meter behind the nearest mirror. Now to part B, the question noted that her left hand was showing its palm facing the mirror. So if we kind of color in the rectangle in this fashion to represent the palm, that means in the reflection over here, her palm would appear on this side. And so for part B, when it asks, does it show the palm of her hand or the back of her hand, it would indeed be the palm. So that would be the correct answer to part B. Now to part C, which is asking us the location of the next image. That actually means the next image in this mirror right here. So there's going to be some other image that's located even further back behind this mirror. And our goal is to find out how far behind the mirror that second image is located. What we have to do to understand that is note that there's another mirror behind her, of course. And her left hand is located two meters from that other mirror. And we know that because, again, the distance between the mirrors is three. We've already noted that this distance from her left hand to the nearest mirror is one, and of course that means the other distance is two. Now, since her left hand is two meters from that mirror, there's going to be an image back here that is also located two meters behind the mirror. Now, let's notice that the back of her hand, which would be this surface right here, would be showing up in this mirror right there. And so that means that the palm would actually be on this side. What we next want to notice is that the distance from this image to the nearest mirror, nearest to the girl, that is, if you count it up, that's five meters. Since we would add the two meters to the mirror here, two more meters to her hand, and then one additional meter to get to that nearest mirror. So if this image is five meters from the nearest mirror, that means the image of that particular image will also show up five meters behind that nearest mirror. Might be a little confusing. If you want, you can pause the video and listen to that again. But this image right here in the further mirror is going to show up in the nearer mirror, and it's going to do so five meters behind that nearest mirror. Notice that the back of her hand is facing that mirror right here. So when its image shows up behind the mirror, we're going to see the back of her hand here, which means that the palm is on the other side. So the answer to part C, which asks us to locate this second image behind the nearer mirror, is going to be five meters behind that nearest mirror. That is the correct answer to part C. And then for part D, does that image show the palm of her hand or the back of her hand? Well, again, we can see that it's showing the back of her hand because that is what's actually in view when we look into that mirror. Okay, so we've modified the drawing just a little bit to make room for the final part here. And again, we have the first image behind the nearest mirror, the second image behind the nearest mirror, and now the question suggests that there's going to be a third image behind this mirror, and we have to locate it. And to do that, we're going to focus on this image right here. Now, this image is producing an image in this mirror that's going to be located behind it. So we'll draw that image here. We're losing scale, by the way. So from this point forward, the drawing really isn't made to scale. Keep that in mind, please. Now, the distance from this image to that mirror right there, if you want to pause the video and count it up, you should see that it's one meter plus another meter plus two meters. That's a distance of four meters. So again, from this image 
to the far mirror. That distance is four meters, which means that the image formed in the farther mirror is also located four meters behind that further mirror. Now, since the palm, which is colored right here, is facing that mirror, that means the palm would show up in the image. Now, here comes the key. The distance from this image all the way to that nearer mirror, you want to pause the video and count it up again, you should see that that distance from there to there between the red arrowheads is seven meters. Because from here to that mirror is four, and then the distance between the mirrors is three, so that's a total of seven. Which means, finally, that an image will form seven meters behind this mirror right here. And then we finally just have to figure out whether it's the back of her hand or the palm of her hand, and we can see that we're forming an image based on this object right here. Here's her palm again, that's facing the mirror right here. And so in the reflection, that would end up pointing in that orientation. So she would indeed see the palm of her hand in this third image. Notice again that the distance behind the nearer mirror to that third image was seven meters. So the correct answer to part E will be seven meters behind that mirror. And as noted already, it would be showing the palm of her hand, this sort of colored surface right here. So that answers part F as well. And then finally to part G, which of the images are real and which are virtual? This part's easy. All of the images were located behind mirrors. And when images are located behind mirrors, they are indeed virtual. So that would be the correct answer to part G. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. You can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.